In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to pronounce Japanese za and ja. It is often said that it is especially difficult for Korean speakers to make the distinction between za and ja. Do you know why? It's because the za sound doesn't exist in Korean. So Korean speakers often substitute za with ja, which is present in Korean. But here's the problem. In Japanese, both za and ja sounds are present and they are treated as different sounds. So when someone says jashi to mean zashi, they are using the wrong pronunciation. Do you hear the difference between zashi and jashi? Jashi, zashi, jashi, zashi, jashi, zashi. But there is an interesting contrast in Korean that most Japanese speakers cannot clearly hear. In Korean, there is a contrast between ja and ja. When Korean speakers first try to pronounce Japanese za and ja, their first strategy may be to apply these familiar sounds in Korean to those Japanese sounds. For example, using Korean ja for Japanese za and Korean ja for Japanese ja. But this strategy does not work well because Korean ja and ja both sound like the ja sound in Japanese. We are missing the za sound here. So how do we actually pronounce za? Let's find out. If you are familiar with the English z sound, repeat these words. Zoo. Zebra. Zoe. Zack. Remember this z sound and use it for the Japanese za sound. Say zashi. If you're more familiar with Korean, start with this sound. S. Now vocalize that sound. That is, when you make the Korean s, make sure that your vocal folds are buzzing. It should sound something like z. Remember the z sound and use it for the Japanese za sound. Say zashi. In this video, we have learnt that za and ja are different sounds in Japanese. In order to pronounce za, we went over two possible methods. One is using the English z for Japanese za. The other is going from the Korean s sound, vocalizing it, and then using it for Japanese za.